Since the advent of the pandemic, people tend to focus a little closer on the medical explanation of things. Real, truthful information has become extremely important to combat a tidal wave of misinformation and political deception. Credit and appreciation is certainly due to those who were able to quickly bring a vaccination to market in record time. This is an example of the miraculous acceleration currently underway in several important medical fields. Researchers are working to use technology to repair our damaged bodies and to give people a better quality of life. Hi guys, welcome to Gen XYZ Finance and Technology where we tailor data into more comprehensible information for our curious audiences who are in a hurry, just like you. Now before we start, you may want to consider hitting that subscribe button to keep seeing informative tech videos and practical financial tips. Research saves lives. The amazing thing about research is that any breakthrough can impact multiple problems, as some diseases have similar underlying causes. This fundamental principle is what scientists are working on to help improve the future of people who may be facing a rather bleak one. In this video, we're going to explore 9 medical breakthroughs that will change the world in less than 5 decades. Number 1. Gene Editing one example of a very recent breakthrough is a program called CRISPR or the Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats. Although it has not received wide use yet with the medical field or in labs for experimental purposes, it clearly demonstrates how man can change their genes by improving on the process. There have been some scientists who believe there will be an overwhelming effect on our society because of this. CRISPR allows humans to make very precise changes to DNA without making a single mistake, which means they could theoretically alter any gene you want without having any false positives or negatives, which would happen if you tried to do it with other methods. Gene editing is a complicated topic and advances in this technology have made it possible to modify almost any gene in human cells, meaning we may soon be able to treat a wider range of diseases. Naturally, with such an immensely powerful tool, ethics have become a concern and science must tread carefully and explain how the technology should be responsibly used. Number 2. Immunotherapy over the next 25 years, genomic analysis will continue to broaden the impact of personalized medicine and healthcare. Immunotherapy will deliver on its promise to dismantle cancer's armory across various tumor types. It is revolutionizing the way in which cancers can be treated. Personalized medicine, in which the value of each medical treatment is determined by genetic and clinical factors, will generate increasingly effective therapies at lower costs. And at the same time, we will see a focus on prevention as new genomic information enables us to measure individual risk and tailor therapeutic interventions accordingly. Better screening tests and preventive measures along with genomic-driven drugs and devices tailored to specific molecular alterations in individuals will improve health outcomes. This will require engagement with policymakers who need to provide an enabling environment for this revolution in healthcare. Number 3. Regeneration One of the most ambitious missions of all is regeneration. It is the process of replacing or quote-unquote regenerating human cells, tissues, or organs to restore them to their complete normal state. Various strategies have been proposed to achieve this goal. One strategy is the use of stem cells. Stem cells are undifferentiated cells that are known for their ability to develop into a variety of specialized cell types in the body through cell division and differentiation. Adult stem cells are mainly used for the treatment of chronic diseases and cancer. Embryonic stem cells, on the other hand, are used for treating neurodegenerative diseases and birth defects. Other organisms have enormous powers to regenerate. They can regenerate limbs that are lost or hearts that are damaged. Humans don't have that ability due to a more complex physiology. Scientists are now looking at a type of salamander called the axolotl, which lives its entire life in the water in a larval stage with gills. Like other salamanders and some lizards, they can regenerate lost limbs or tails. The new appendage usually grows back a little smaller, but hey, something is better than nothing. Number 4. At-Home Lab Tests the pandemic ushered in a new era of using at-home lab tests. For some forms of cancer detection, this is truly a lifesaver. Most home tests are covered by insurance and afford the patient privacy and convenience without subjecting them to the unpleasant experience of an office visit. To have access to a wide range of analysis without the need to see a doctor is a game-changer. 
COVID tests, pregnancy tests, and glucose test kits are revolutionary because of their accessibility. They're easy to use and 99% accurate. Recent breakthroughs allow home screening for colon cancer as well. The kits are made to be easy to use with simple instructions and prepaid return shipping. There are also some disadvantages to at-home testing. First is the possibility of errors. If you don't administer and repackage the kit correctly, there is a chance that it could give you an erroneous result. Also, at the moment, it's still not possible to draw one's own blood, which is the most crucial component for many lab tests. Number 5. Bioengineering Bioengineering is described by Stanford professor and radio host Russ Altman, MD, as the manipulation of biological systems to solve problems in medicine, the environment, and energy. It is a scientific discipline focused on the application of engineering principles to biological design. While bioengineering is still in its infancy, it has already revolutionized medicine and agriculture. Research in bioengineering promises to help solve problems like climate change, aging, and food security. According to the publication Nature, a scientist has just completed the first sequence of DNA from scratch using only chemicals. This could be a breakthrough for creating large-scale quantities of new DNA strands quickly and efficiently. For example, you could use this technology for synthesizing custom medication or synthetic antibiotics. In addition, this breakthrough could be used to combat climate change. It will create a new type of natural solution that is powered by sunlight and can remove industrial greenhouse gases from the atmosphere. Number 6. Nanomedicine There is increasing optimism that nanotechnology applied to medicine and dentistry will bring significant advances in the diagnosis, treatment, and prevention of disease. The utilization of nanotechnology in biomedical sciences predicts the creation of materials and devices designed to interact with the body at subcellular scales with a high degree of specificity. Among the more than 50 nanotechnology-based products now on the market, we find new imaging agents and contrast media for medical scanning, artificial joints and nerve repair devices, improved drug delivery systems for cancer chemotherapy, and a host of dental products. The potential applications of nanomedicine in the future are quite breathtaking. Advances in nanomedicine will lead to a revolution in disease prevention as well as treatment. Treating diseases early, before it has begun, is the key to success with nanomedicine. Many diseases start in the body cells, and the use of nanotechnology in medicine could make it possible to prevent those diseases. Number 7. Artificial Womb on the 25th of April in 2017, Nature Communications published a study led by a researcher, Emily Partridge, that provided the most successful demonstration yet of an artificial womb. Extremely premature lambs, a close animal model for human fetuses, were successfully gestated in liquid-filled plastic-covered artificial wombs. The use of a plastic-lined cloth bag for the environmental nurturing of these early lambs, about 4.5 to 5.5 weeks gestational age, is novel and represents a significant advancement in using non-human surrogates to aid in the development and testing of uterine environment devices. It is designed to mimic the uterus's environment and promote placental blood flow and growth, resulting in an encapsulated embryo that develops more like a fetus. Partridge's team developed an implantable embryonic plasticity device that allows the uterus to develop and heal itself by shunting maternal cues. This could be used to help premature babies survive and grow outside their mother's wombs, changing the face of neonatal intensive care. Number 8. Organ Farming Recent research has begun to look into the use of pigs to grow human organs. If successful, it would mean that human organs could be grown inside live pigs for future harvest and organ donation. This research could lead to an increase in the accessibility of organs required for transplant. Scientists have already grown human hearts and a lung inside of pigs, but they wanted to see how well it would work to grow a new kidney. Due to compatible DNA structures, pigs are well suited for this type of research. Once pig organs can be transplanted into humans, transplantation will move into a new era. Eventually, donations from deceased or live human beings will become obsolete. Advances in 3D printing have also made it possible to create the superstructure or casing of some organs. These may then be implanted into a living host for cultivation and testing. Number 9. Digital Twins 
digital twins could be the future of personalized medicine. These are a type of software replica designed to represent you and your doctor could use it to predict how you would react if you caught an infectious disease and then determine whether you would benefit from a specific treatment or surgery. It would allow information collected from thousands of sensors in your body and daily data about your behavior to be stored in the cloud, analyzed, and then used for personalized care. Digital twins could also help you predict your life expectancy, suggest ways to live longer, and even suggest your susceptibility to certain types of cancer. To have a digital twin is like having a life simulation of yourself. Hypothetical scenarios can be explored if you are exposed to various medications, procedures, and other stimuli. Pushing the boundaries of what is possible has been going on since the beginning of civilization. In modern society, this is especially true because we have so much history behind us to build upon. Scientists and doctors continue to envision new applications for current technology, and every once in a while, a monumental breakthrough is achieved to move us even further ahead. There are opinions on how this technology should be used, but if we are willing to consider the benefits to the paralyzed and genetically damaged, the way forward is obvious. What medical breakthrough are you excited about? Please share your thoughts with us in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and consider clicking that notification bell to keep yourself updated on our latest videos. We'll see you next time.